Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Poco X3 Pro. Now this will be a short one because the European version of this phone, that is YU, has received an update called MIUI 12.5.2 EEA stable and the highlight is it gets an August security patch. Now we will go ahead and check quickly if there are any new features or not and we will also check the UI smoothness and stuff like that and we will also have a look at the benchmark numbers so this will be a relatively short short video. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other, so join us there. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kailash, let's get going. Alright, so what do we have here? MIUI 12.5.2 for the POCO X3 Pro. As you can see over here, it says 12.5.2 stable. What's new? Let's go ahead and check that. Optimization, updated Android security patch to August 2021, increased system security. Now, in all probability, this particular status in the change log means that nothing or not much has changed in this particular update but let's quickly have a look we are in the 120 hertz mode so let's go to display over here and the refresh rate is set to 120 so we still don't have the 90 hertz mode i don't see a reason why xiaomi isn't enabling it because it will not only give us amazing performance like smoothness but it will also give you decent battery life compared to the battery life that you get on the 120 hertz mode now if we talk about settings more and the launcher the launcher version is poco launcher 2.20.1.37 so in this particular update you don't really get the system launcher which is kind of sad to the left you do have yeah now this is something i have been talking about in a lot of updates i don't know why we have a very decent wi-fi connection and every time you switch to google feed there is this stutter which is happening so the good thing here is in the month of august itself we have received the august security patch so kudos to xiaomi for doing that but basic things like these now you know recently i received a comment that you are too critical about updates and you know you criticize them a lot and stuff like that but criticism has to be shared where it is due because if you have a look google feed is supposed to be smooth on this device on this device on most of the roms including custom roms the google feed is absolutely smooth so i don't see a reason why it should not be smooth on this one talking about the android 10 gestures they are working smooth as ever so no problem as such over there now moving on let's talk about the security app so if you go to the security app version 5.4.2 so let's quickly open the security app and have a look at game turbo over here there you go so you still have the old game turbo nothing new over here there are a couple of updates that i have checked in uh, the game turbo in miui enhanced version for the mi 11x and i really really hope those come to this device or all the devices for that matter so no update to the game turbo i did see a update for the notes applications and i updated it but nothing nothing pretty you know significant or something apart from this if you talk about this particular update there is nothing major you do get the google dialer and google messages app so everything is absolutely the same even if you go to the camera application you will have a dual media dual video long exposure clone mode all the things which are already available in the poco x3 pro stock rom so you know without wasting any more time let's go ahead and talk about the benchmark numbers so the first thing that we will check is the cpu throttling test and don't be disappointed so after various attempts as well this is what i got cpu throttled to 68 percent of its max performance this is including game turbo so kind of disappointing there but it's really surprising to see how till over here it just went fine and then it dipped the performance and trust me there was no application or notification that had come in between moving on let's talk about the geekbench numbers of this particular update as you can see it does say boosted successfully so 783 2740 pretty decent scores for a stock rom we did manage to run antutu benchmark as well so if you have a look at the Antutu benchmark over here, 544,061. Now on one of the custom ROMs, the lowest score that I've seen is around 553 or something. 
So this ROM is definitely doing something wrong. And if you are on the European version and you receive EEA updates from a performance standpoint, and if the August security patch is absolutely not that important for you, I would recommend hold on, wait for some other update to come. Xiaomi has confirmed that there will be some more devices which will be added to the enhanced edition list. Let's hope the Poco X3 Pro gets it as well. But for now, this update for me is not that great. It doesn't add any features apart from the security patch. Technically, it doesn't add anything at all. So think about it and let me know in the comment section what do you think about this particular update. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at Phone Ops. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.